In South Korea, in the vast province of Kangwon, a small village is hidden among mountains and forests, reachable only by navigating dense woods and dangerous cliffs. Eodinsan was a lost mining town, specializing in iron extraction in the 1940s. For six years, it was a significant economic support for the remote community living in the northernmost part of the country. The mining community was small, almost entirely comprised of local workers, fathers of families from generations that had never left their humble territory. However, an unusual earthquake, according to the scarce records from 1946, struck the Korean peninsula, devastating everything in its path. The mines collapsed with the intense movement, and mining activity ceased forever. Only a few photographs later revealed the event, due to the war intervention in the region. As a result, the history of this forested and mountainous locality became better known. In this way, the numerous mine entrances that were said to extend vastly across the mountains could be appreciated. Years later, in 1991, South Korean television produced a very simple documentary that aired in the early morning hours, recounting the area's history more than 40 years after the earthquake. To the surprise of the reporters, the village had survived in better condition than expected. Reconstruction did not take too long, and the village had returned to activity, this time centered on agriculture. However, one detail caught their attention. The village was filled with tombstones. Even in the house yards, they were piled up. Likewise, a series of statues were scattered throughout the woods, commemorating the miners who fell victim to the earthquake, their mothers, widows, and daughters who waited eternally for their return, sitting on lonely benches, and a simple temple erected at one of the mine entrances, surrounded by hydrangeas. In 2003, a group of paranormal investigators traveled to the area, strongly inspired by the forgotten documentary aired the previous decade, in order to understand the strange custom of filling gardens with tombstones and hoping to find evidence of anomalous activity. Of the mine entrances, they found only two, one already covered by earth and undergrowth after some landslides, and one that was curiously well lit on the outside but impossible to enter. Strangely, no one in the village received them warmly. In fact, many were permanently hidden in their houses and begged them to leave as soon as possible. Very surprised by this, they set up a series of cameras throughout the forest in the hope of finding something interesting or capturing the activity of the locals when they ventured out of their homes. The images they obtained left them bewildered. In 2013, two strange photographs were recorded by tourists' dashcams as they passed through one of the new routes that began to connect the village of Iadinsan.